we have found the mechanism by which a really common human parasite uh, hijacks the host cell for its own benefit and potentially changes the behavior of the host human that's living within. This parasite lays dormant in 30 to 80% of people. And one of the critical factors for this is their ability to store energy as starch. We found the molecular mechanism by which they do so in order to establish this infection. Toxoplasma gondii is an extremely common pathogen. In fact, it infects 30 to 80% of people. And we pick it up either when we eat undercooked meat that uh, harbors these, uh, this pathogen, such as in uh, lamb or beef, or we catch it from uh, being exposed to um, cat poo, which har harbors cyst forms of this parasite. Most people, it's not a problem. In fact, it will only present as mild flu-like symptoms. But it is a problem when you have a, a dampened immune system or when you're pregnant. There's been a really interesting link recently uh, showing that people that have mental illness, uh, in specifically schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, have a greater likelihood to be infected by this parasite. And that is very interesting because the chronic form of this parasite lives within the brain. We've found the mechanism by which it exports its own proteins into the host cell that it's living within. And that is particularly exciting because it infects uh, brain cells and it may change the behavior of those brain cells for its own purpose. Now that we know the molecular mechanism by which this parasite uses to export proteins into the host cell for its own benefit and also how it regulates energy storage, we now have the ability to design new therapeutics or a vaccine that could be used for pregnant women.